It's Shelby. I'm here with my second update of my winter project pan, or a lot of people are calling it uh, Finish 7 by Spring. Uh, I started this like a month before all of those. I have a few more products than that, and, but it ends at the same time. But the important thing is I'm using up my products. So um, if you want to call this Project 7 by Spring, you, you can. I don't care. This is a super exciting update, and I'm so excited to share it with you. I finished up two products so um, I'm gonna share those first because that's what I'm most excited about in the last update I'll link that below if you want to watch I did finish the hairspray this month I finished the temp 2 highlighter and you can see there's like a little tiny bit at the bottom but it won't um, come out I tipped it I put it in like my lipstick holder because it's a good size for this and had it stay like this all night long and when I went to use it I couldn't get anything out so um, this is completely done it wasn't terrible but I'm glad that it's over it was just slightly hard to use so it wasn't terrible but I would never actually buy it the second product that I used up is the pixie bronzer so last time I was at the blue line and today I am completely gone and this is the first bronzer I've ever used up so this is so so exciting I like I'm really proud of myself I was so shocked when I hit pan on this before I started this project that I put it in this project but um, to actually finish it on the second update not even by March I'm so excited um, this wasn't bad it's definitely probably is I mean it is a bronzer it's a separately Sun Touch bronzer. I kind of used it as a contour, which was a little warm for that, but I liked it. It worked fine. It's just really light coverage. Um, so I had to pile on a little bit more. It's not something I would personally like, go out and buy just in comparison to like your other options. Um, there's a lot of really good bronzer options that I don't know that this would be my first pick, but um, as something that I received in Ipsy, I was very happy with it and I used it all, all the way to the last drop. I'm just going to start going down my list now um, with what I have left. So that's three of the eight products that I started with. Um, I'm also going to add in two more items at the end to kind of like replace, I guess, add two, get rid of three, I don't know. Actually, <laughs> take the back, I'm going to get rid of four. This one I did not finish, but I hit pan on. This is in my, um, the little black beauty book um i think in update one i hadn't even hit pan and in this update i have so much pan it actually isn't too much more than this one um but i decided that this color is pretty similar to my estee lauder um eyeshadow that my best friend got me for christmas um not this christmas but the christmas before that and i really would rather use that and i'm not going to use it when i have i'm when it's a similar color and I'm trying to use this up. Um, and I was just looking over all these colors and there's really, it's like you have all these color options, but I have no like desire to use them, which is odd. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on, give it back to my mom. I, I feel good about like the usage I got. So this CoverGirl eyeliner, I have not made that much progress on. I used it a few times, but to be honest, it's really hard. It's like a blue, so it's a really special eyeliner that I don't feel like I can use all the time. You can see I, a tiny bit, but really virtually none. I just, I, I mean, that's mostly because I had to sharpen it <laughs> the one time that I used it. I'm hoping to use more product in the of this in the following updates, but I know it's just going to take time because it's not an everyday um, eyeliner pencil. The other eyeliner, the Starlux Coal eyeliner, I have been using every day, like every day. Um, I don't think I was pressing down hard enough a lot of the time, so I was finally pressing down really hard on it and started being having happier results. But I am, I feel like it's either my mascara or the eyeliner, and I'm not sure what, but I keep getting like kind of recognized by the end of the day. Um, anyway, um, here's my update. Super happy with that. That's a little bit more than I had in the last update. Um, so very, very exciting. I don't know that it's going to be used up by spring, but I feel like it's going to get pretty close. The next lipstick in Goddess, I have been using just about every day. Um, I will say that I don't, um, reapply. I reapplied one day, actually. 
Um, but <laughs> I'm just really bad about that. I did throw it in my school bag a few times in attempts to like, I hope I remember right after lunch and I will reapply it. Um, but most times I didn't remember. Um, it's just, I don't wear lipstick normally. I, I did get like, I don't know, I had a couple of students tell me like I got had lipstick on my teeth um, a couple of days. I don't really know how to prevent that. I don't know. Today I put a little Vaseline on my front two teeth, so we'll see if that kind of helps. But if you have any suggestions on like how to not get lipstick on your teeth, that would be helpful because kids will point out anything. Anyway, so I've used, this is what it looks like now, so definitely like not full sized anymore, which is great. I started this brand, virtually brand new, even though it's like two years old at this point. Um, I just don't wear lipstick a whole lot. Um, but you can see here is, I made a little line for where my goal is. It would be, um, the bottom of it is like about here and I really want to be halfway. Um, I don't know that that's going to happen per se, but I made a lot of progress compared to the first update to the second update. That's huge. Um, so I'm really happy with myself. I kind of, it's definitely like an everyday lipstick, so I feel comfortable wearing it. This Dr. Brandt Mycodermabrasion, um, I have been using, it's not done yet, it might be getting close, I hope it's getting close, um, to be honest, it feels like little balls that have spikes on them rolling on my skin, sounds very unpleasant, okay, it's not quite that unpleasant, but it's like, it kind of hurts, I don't know, so, I'm not really enjoying using this, um, the Dr. Brandt, pores and more primer. I tried that. I used that all the way up a while ago and I loved it. Like loved it. Um, I'm not loving this so would not suggest it and I'm ready to get this out. So that's everything on my like initial list um, but I kind of as I was working through things um, kind of decided on two more products to add. Um, one is this Aquage um, straightening gel. Um, I decided to add this around the 10th and as soon as I decide to add something I just start working on it because I, I didn't see the point in waiting until February to start working on it. Right? So when I started on the 10th it was here and I'm now here. Now I have really long hair so I can kind of use a lot each time which is sort of helpful. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that I can kind of get through this. Um, I received a Coolway smoothing gel boxycharm a little bit ago um, and I just don't feel like I should use that until I get this gone um, and I've had this for quite some time so hoping that this can be gone by spring. So the last thing I decided to add in was partly because I finished the Tim 2 highlighter and partly because okay, I don't normally rebuy products that I already own like I don't do that I have a pretty small collection um, but I've been waiting for the balm to be on Hot Look, and it was, and I was like, I don't know how long it's going to be on there, like, when it's going to come back up. It's normally about three months or so. So, I went ahead and ordered uh, the Mary Luminizer. Now, on Ipsy, I got this little sample of Mary Luminizer, so I, like, sort of already have it. Um, and I'd like to use this up before I get it, and I don't know if that's possible. Um, but by spring, I definitely want to hit pan on it, so I'm going to really focus on this. Because um, I really want to try to get it out um, so I don't have two products of the same thing. As of update two, I now have ten products that I've put in this project. Um, but I have used up or decided to get rid of four. So I'm down to six products in this project. I really, really appreciate you watching and staying all the way to the very end. Um, if you want to stay in touch and catch my future updates, um, please subscribe. Um, I have my the third update will be like the first of March and then I will finish it up uh, around March 20th or so 25th <laughs> between there. Hope you all have a good day. Bye!